So what if I told you that histamine isn't just about allergies, it's actually a critical brain neurotransmitter. And when your brain histamine is too low, it can leave you foggy, it can leave you anxious, unmotivated, and feeling that your brain is just running in slow motion. You know, we hear so much about high histamine and histamine intolerance and MCAS and things like hives and rashes and food sensitivities. But what happens when histamine levels in the brain are actually too low? Surprisingly, this can lead to a completely different set of symptoms, and it often goes unrecognized. So in today's video, I'm gonna break it down for you in terms of what histamine does in the brain, the role of HNMT enzyme, why that's important for someone who struggles with mental health issues, symptoms of low uh, brain histamine, the causes of low brain histamine, and how you can naturally support healthy histamine balance in your brain. So first, let's understand really what histamine does in the brain, right? Because histamine is much more than just an, an allergy chemical. It also acts as a neurotransmitter that helps regulate things like wakefulness and being alert, appetite and satiety, learning and memory, emotional balance, body temperature, and even things like addiction in the brain can be linked to histamine. Histamine is broken down primarily by an enzyme called HNMT, histamine N-methyltransferase. And this is the enzyme that lives in the central nerve system, and it really helps keep histamine levels from getting too high, but it also ensures that the levels don't get too low. Now, when your body can't make enough histamine or when it's broken down too rapidly, you can actually end up with low histamine activity in the brain, and that comes with a unique set of symptoms. So let's review some of the key symptoms of low uh, brain histamine, right? They can be low motivation or drive, chronic fatigue, brain fog, or slow thinking, things like depression, especially apathy type depression, poor memory or recall, sleepiness or difficulty staying awake during the day, low libido, low appetite, and in some cases, low brain histamine has even been associated with certain types of schizophrenia and cognitive decline. Now in children, it can also affect kids. It may look like poor focus, low energy, or a lack of interest in learning or social engagement, things that typically we diagnose as ADHD. While these symptoms may overlap with other imbalances, low histamine is often overlooked as a contributing factor. In my opinion, it really needs to be considered along with other root causes. So what causes low brain histamine? Well, there's a few different things we need to consider. We need to consider genetic variants in the HNMT gene, which can cause excessive histamine clearance. We need to think about methylation, especially low SAMe or B12 levels. Remember, HNMT is methyltransferase. We think about overuse of antihistamine medications, especially the type of H1 blockers. Low protein diets, vegan or vegetarian diets, which reduce the availability of histidine. That's the uh, precursor to histamine. Low stomach acid makes the digestion of protein more challenging. You need stomach acid to digest and break down protein and amino acids. We have to think about chronic stress or adrenal fatigue, which again, can blunt histamine production. So again, the common thread here is that HNMT requires proper methylation, specific nutrients in order to function. And if any of those pathways are disrupted, histamine levels in turn are going to dip and become too low. So how do you support HNMT and maintain these healthy histamine levels in the brain? Well, here's a few key strategies that I think will in turn help improve uh, histamine levels. Number one is support methylation. Talked about this a moment ago. HNMT uses SAMe to methylate and deactivate histamine. If your methylation cycle is sluggish, HNMT slows down. To support methylation, again, optimize your vitamin B6, B9, and B12 levels. Consider supplements like SAMe or TMG under the guidance of your doctor. Address genetic SNPs and methylation pathways, including MTHFR, MTR, MTRR, if you have them. Eat enough protein. Remember, histamine is made from histidine, and that's an amino acid that's found in protein-rich foods. If your diet is low in quality protein, you may struggle to make enough histamine. Animal proteins are the major source of, of this amino acid, and while plant-based sources are available, they're just not as concentrated or as bioavailable. Now to increase histidine levels, you wanna include foods like eggs, poultry, beef, fish, bone broth, collagen, lentils, and legumes if you can tolerate them. Next, you wanna avoid the overuse and long-term use of antihistamines. Like I said, long-term use of antihistamines, they reduce your body's natural histamine signaling pathways. And here's where, again, you wanna work with a doctor 
to find alternatives uh, rather than relying on these medications on a daily basis. And manage inflammation, right? Chronic inflammation can dysregulate both enzymes, DAO and HNMT. You wanna support your body with an, of an anti-inflammatory diet. Consume lots of omega-3 fatty acids to balance your omega-3 and omega-6 ratio. Address gut health, right? Your gut microbiome plays a major role in both producing and degrading histamine. Dysbiosis can impair the histamine regulation, not only systemically, but also neurologically. So while we often hear about the dangers of having too much histamine, too little brain histamine is just as problematic, especially when it comes to things like energy, mood, focus, and mental clarity. If you've been struggling with low motivation, depression, fatigue, brain fog, it's worth investigating these methylation pathways, HNMT gene function, and your histamine balance. A skilled functional medicine doctor can guide you through proper testing, through proper nutrition and supplementation to get you feeling more energized and mentally clear. I wanna thank you for watching today's video, and if you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share it with someone who might find it beneficial.